Hello everybody and welcome to my latest Gunpla review, the Real Grade Zeta Gundam, which is the titular suit from the series Mobile Suit Zeta Gundam, same series as the previously released Gundam Mark II. The Zeta is the first transformable Real Grade kit, so this should be interesting to take a look at. I can say right off the bat that this kit is not as stable as the Mark II or is playable with. Anyway, it cost me 2,500 yen and I picked it up at Yellow Submarine in Akihabara, Tokyo. There was a lot of hype around the release of this kit, especially at the Gunpla Expo, so let's see if it lives up to it. The Zeta keeps up the real grade standard in the looks department, with vivid colours and great detailing. The colour accuracy is amazing and looks phenomenal just out of the box, and a little bit of panel lining will really bring out the superb amount of detail on this kit. The Zeta's colour scheme is the traditional Gundam colours, dominated primarily by blue, red, and white, with yellow detailing. As usual with real grades, the white has separated into standard white and a light grey. This kit looks amazing from the majority of angles but it does have a couple of negative points which I'll get to later. The same excellent level of detail is maintained all around the kit, and even the shield and flying armor look great. So a closer look at some of the detailing. Real grades are known for their excellent surface detail, and the Zeta does not disappoint. The lining on the head and face looks great, and the Vulcans on the sides of the head are molded separately. The eyes and head camera are light clear green, and the kit includes a sticker for the eyes that only covers the segments that are meant to be black, so you don't have to cover the excellent looking clear eye parts. This amazing detail is maintained throughout the kit. The two-tone white on these kits is awesome, and finally will be making its way to Master Grade in the upcoming new Gundam, Verka. This awesome detail even extends to the bottom of the feet. Now that's attention to detail. Almost every square centimetre of this kit has some great detail, no matter how small, so lining this is going to be a nightmare, but in a good way. From some angles you can see into the waste unit of the Zeta, and it looks strangely hollow and empty, but this small negative point is due to the suit's transformation, but it can look ugly from some poses. This kit looks awesome, but then again, all real grades do, so giving this kit a fair score is difficult. This kit does look great, but the real grade line is still in its infancy and I know further down the line there are going to be some awesome products, so I'm going to hold back on this one and give it a solid but fair 7.8 out of 10 for aesthetics. As I mentioned before, the colour on this kit is awesome, and I love the real grade's two-tone whites. So unlike most high grades, you won't have to whip out your Mr. Colours just to make a straight build look acceptable. The Zeta Gundam comes with the usual huge and time-consuming sheet of real grade decal. With the great looking metallic ones, of which you can see I've used some here already, and they really stand out. The plastic quality on this kit is as good as it gets. There are no inconsistencies in the plastic, like you might find in some high grade, no grade, or even some master grade kits, which you usually find on the larger parts of plastic especially those that are cast in a dark colour. However, on saying that, there is the usual problem with Bandai's dark plastics, and that's that they mark quite easily and very visibly when removing knobs. So, how do the joints hold up on the first ever transforming real grade? Well, as you can see, it can stand up, so it's doing pretty good so far, and some master grade kids could learn a thing or two from the Zeta already. The joint strength on the arms is perfect. The shoulder, elbow and wrist joints are the perfect balance between not too loose and not too tight, but how they hold up over time is another thing. The joints in the arms are more than strong enough to hold the Zeta's beam rifle and shield in any direction or pose. The legs on the other hand are not as stable or reliable as the arms. The joints here are more complex, so cause more problems. The knee joint is pretty solid, but the joint at the waist can pop out of place and become very loose. This is because of a dodgy joint in the waist unit, 
but can be popped back into place quite easily, and then you're back in action. Also, the knee has an extra joint here for the transformation to take note of. For the first transforming real grade, the joint quality of this mobile suit is definitely a success, and trounces that of a certain master grade with a similar transformation. Thankfully, loose parts are not an issue with the RG Zeta, and it can take quite a bit of abuse before something falls off. The loosest part on the kit would be the side skirts, but even still, they're pretty firmly attached. But on the whole, you won't have much trouble with bits falling off here and there. I really can't find any major faults with the quality of this kit. Great colour and great joints. The only real problem with this kit is the legs can be a bit finicky, which is to be expected with a transforming kit. So I'm going to give the Zeta Gundam, the first transforming real grade kit, an 8.5 out of 10 for quality. So make sure to come back for part 2, where I'll be talking about gimmicks and accessories. <laughs>